biological control, it's a, a good way of controlling uh, pests. A pair of uh, barn owls can uh, consume in a year about 3,000 uh, voles, which is a huge number. Uh, this also uh, decreases the use of chemicals in the same area, so it's, it can only be a good thing. Uh, the same can be said with kestrels. Of course, kestrels hunt in the day and owls uh, hunt at night. So if you're using both species, you get a complete cover 24 hours on your fields. But they're also very opportunistic. If there's not mice which or rodents, which is their thing, says Tel Aviv University with a specific number. So anywhere in the world somebody finds or catches this bird, it's a, a small falcon, medium-sized falcon called a kestrel, which is very common throughout Europe. You see her? Shh, don't, don't worry, nobody tell your wife. <laughs> and her big face is actually very big. Very the people in the Jordanian side, the farmers, they accepted uh, to uh, deal with the with the barn owls. Barn owls in our traditions, it's a bad luck. But now after what uh, the farmers are uh, seeing in the, in the fields and how much this bird affect, uh, they, uh, they became friendly and now they build some nests in the Jordanian Valley. in the Jordan Valley area. Another one is solid waste management. Uh, we in Prem already launched uh, three, big, uh, three uh, new projects. Uh, the idea behind this project also to bring people together, uh, to build the trust and confidence between people, not just to, uh, to build uh, uh, projects or burn all projects. And this is already your place. <laughs> We are sharing the same land, the same air, the same, uh, the same uh, aquifer, and uh, since that uh, reason, uh, we should uh, protect our nature for our uh, future uh, generations or our uh, coming generations. Ready, one, two, three, go! Oh. 